Oh my gosh. Oh, look at it. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I only found out about this today. Demo product. This is a demo of the Touch Starve Prologue and not the finished product. Thank you. Content warning. Touch Starve is intended for an older audience. It contains mature content that includes, but is not limited to, horror, graphic violence, strong language, alcohol and drug references, injury, and dismemberment. Player discretion is advised. Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> if you accept the embargo terms uh, and content warning, please click to proceed. Tutorial. In Touch Starved, your choices matter. The decisions you make may result in unique dialogue interactions or even choices in red text, which contain exclusive content. Ooh. Try playing through the demo more than once and choosing different options. You might even uncover a secret ending. And remember, there, there are no wrong choices, only interesting ones. Choose wisely and save often. Aha! I'm so excited! <laughs> Oh my gosh, enter your name. All right, the name is T. Oh my gosh, here we go. Ooh, choose your pronouns. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, guys. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna go with they, them. Uh, oh my gosh. The wasteland stretches as far as the eye can see. There's nothing out here but death, the ever-present stench of decay, and countless sun-bleached bones cast like seeds across the barren land. I could say death doesn't scare me, but to tell the truth, I'm desperate. It's been two weeks since I joined a caravan bound across the wastes. Finding a group that would accept me was a trial in itself. As rations grew sparse and my canteen ran dry, I began to despair. But then I saw it. Iridia, the city of knowledge, uh, one of the last bastions of humanity left in the world, uh, and home to the famous academy called the, the Cenobium. All the world's knowledge gathered in one place. If there's anywhere I'll find a cure for my curse, it's there. Okay, <laughs> got stuck. <laughs> All that stands between me and a, and a cure is a final stretch of salt-soaked wastes, or so I think, until I see the first tendrils of fog snaking beneath the wagon. ruh -roh. Oh, I'm so excited to see everything that this game has to offer. <laughs> is this fog fall? My stomach sinks at the very whisper of it. A silent storm more devastating than fire. Dangerous in cities, but a death sentence beyond them. <gasps> a thick blanket of fog engulfs us, smothering out the lantern's light. The wagon lurches to a stop. An eerie silence heavy, uh, uh, yeah, an eerie silence heavy as the mist falls over us. The only warning we get is a strangled scream. S stay back! No! The cry dissolves into wet gurgling. <laughs> Ooh. Then, the wagon violently pitches to the side. I hit the ground hard, the air punched from my lungs. When I open my eyes, adrenaline lends sudden, uh, awfully, uh, adrenaline lends sudden, often clarity to the carnage around me. A traitor I once shared bread with lies face down in the mud, their back reduced to long strings of torn muscle, gleaming gristle, and exposed bone. Bodies litter the wasteland. Oh. Hello, Cthulhu offspring? <laughs> I try to rise, but my ankle explodes with pain so blinding, white blooms across my vision. Only when my eyes adjust do I see the dark shape in front of me. Oh, what? A soulless stoops over the twisted form of a caravaner. I freeze, but it swivels its head, a dozen bulging eyes twitching in my direction and blink as one. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh. The soulless lets out an ear-splitting shriek and runs at me. 
But right before it reaches me, the beast barrels past, vanishing into the mist. Distantly, a horse screams in the dark. I need to move. Now. Uh, I want to run for the city. Go! Ah! I take off running deeper into the haze. The fog is so thick that I fear I'm heading in the wrong direction until I see a dim pinprick of light emanating from the shadow of a spire. It's faint, but it's enough. I came, uh, I came too far to die here. Rapid footsteps echo all around me. I turn in circles, frantically searching the opaque mist for the source, but the fog fall twists and stretches around. Suddenly, the caravan's driver bursts forth from the, fro from the fog. Our eyes meet too late. He slams into me, knocking me to the ground, and spins in a patch of mud, and slips in a patch of mud. The soulless falls on him as soon as he slows. It catches the driver by his throat and rakes his stomach with razor sharp claws. He comes apart like wet paper, splitting, spilling intestines and viscera in a steaming tide. Ooh, gross. Fighting the urge to heave, I claw frantically through the slippery muck for a handhold. Shit! My hand catches on the jagged edge of a rib jutting out from the water. Bandages unfurl around the gouge, uh, the gouge torn deep into my paw. In the palm. Why did I say paw? <laughs> I'm secretly a furry, watch out! <laughs> the pain quickly forgotten uh, when a hand closes around my wrist. <gasps> Hello? Secret savior? <gasps> Can you stand? Oh, hi! One of the travelers from the caravan leans over me. Oh, thank you! We need to run. Okay! They reach for my hand and I realize too late that my bandages have come undone. <gasps> Uh-oh. No! Don't touch me! The sensation of their thumb brushing the back of my hand sends a shiver down my spine. All it takes is one touch, and the space of a breath and the space of a breath, my curse takes hold. Oh Jesus! Their lips peel back into a deranged grin. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh! I can't control my my. Oh, there we go. My face did change. It's just delayed. Um. No, I've seen this face countless times before. This is my curse. Madness of my own making. Their oh god. Their grip on my hand tightens until pain radiates from my knuckles. Let me g Suddenly clammy hands crush my throat, choking off my breath. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Spit bubbles at the corners of their mouth and flex, up, uh, flex my face. The edges of my vision darken as my lungs scream for air. Uh, get off me! My nails gouge deep into the traveler's wrist, but no matter how much blood I draw, they don't flinch. Oh god, am I gonna die in the prologue? Oh god, the more I struggle, the tighter their grip grows. My pulse hammers in my ears, slowing with each thudding beat. This can't be happening. I'm going to die. And not because of the fog fall or the soulless, but because of my own curse. Tears sting my eyes. No, 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 not here. Not like this. The hand drops from my neck, leaving me wheezing for air. My lungs burn with each ragged cough. My vision clears and the traveler's face takes shape. Hovering inches from mine. Oh god. Lips split in that macabre smile, even as blood seeps between their teeth. They give one last shuddering breath, then slump over, uh, over the claws poked through their stomach. Oh, thanks, monster! Uh, don't kill me! <laughs> the soulless shoves the body aside, damn it. And the, gr the glowing eyes, uh, the glowing eyes stud- Studying its leathery skin, uh, thin as though, whatever. <laughs> the art is really cool, yes, oh my gosh, as though grinning. Oh Jesus, ow, crunch in my ears. There's a flash of claws, red spills across my vision. 
I thought there'd be pain, but as I sink into the murky water, all I can feel is the grit of, uh, of silt filling my mouth and this, the icy embrace of a shallow water. I can't, my brain, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> distantly I notice an arm resting among the outcrop of reeds. Mine, neatly severed at the elbow. <laughs> oh, that's nice, cool. It should have been. It should have taken both arms. Without them, maybe I could have. Uh, maybe I could have survived. Maybe I could have had a home. Instead, I'll die cold, alone, and face down in a desolate wasteland. Oh, so I already fucked up. Okay, a fitty hand for a monstrosity like me. <laughs> I already fucked up. <laughs> the end. Oh. Uh. Okay. If this is death, it's not as bad as I feared. The cold is gone, uh, as is the choking stench of bog water. I could drift forever, cocooned in oblivion, until all thought and sensation vanished. No curse, nobody howling at me in madness and terror, nothing at all. The thought, ha uh, the thought has a terrible appeal to it. Oh, uh, but the next moment... I take a reflexive breath. Air pours into my lungs and then out again with a ragged gasp. <sighs> Feeling comes flooding back. Warm cloth on my bare skin. A firm surface underneath me. A strange tang of sulfur in the air. Do not be afraid. Hello? <gasps> Woo! I twist my head towards the voice. Tears flood my bleary vision at the bright glow of lamplight. I know, hello. <laughs> Try not to move. The voice is calm, steady, and commanding, but more importantly, it's a stranger's voice. One thought cuts through my mental fog. I have no idea who this is, and I'm completely at their mercy. S stay away from me. My words come out a little more um, a little more than a creaky whisper. I clamp my mouth shut, hating how weak and helpless I sound. No. No? Who the hell is this? Uh... What's that up? Who, who the fuck is this? I managed to push myself felt self up on one elbow but my head swims and my surroundings give an alarming lurch ah a stubborn patient I don't have the strength to dignify that with a response instead I pull the sheet up higher and wipe my eyes until my vision clears oh the stranger towers over my prone form warm light reflects off his pristine medical coat I instinctively shrink back, and that's when I notice that I'm completely naked except for a thin linen sheet. Uh. <laughs> well, I guess I don't have to hide anything from him. <laughs> naked, lying on a low cot with a pair of sharp golden eyes watching my every move, the man's gaze flickers to my exposed, unbandaged hands. Hands? Hands. Did you reattach my arm? fucking angel here talking down to, from from heaven to my my fucking goblin ass yes absolutely if if you want the full game go support the kickstarter they literally just started it so there's still plenty of time if you can't do it right away but oh my gosh <laughs> i i backed it before i even downloaded the demo i was like yes please <laughs> you will be safe so long as you do not draw attention to yourself I'm about to head towards the counter when a chant rises from the center of the room. Show, show, show. Show what? <gasps> Seriously, you dogs? Again? Scattered laughter and cheers rise from the audience. I drag my eyes upward. <gasps> it's him! That's the one! Eee, he's so cute! Now, who could use some good luck? Eager onlookers shoot closer to the table. Some reach for the lilies while others whistle and call Leander's name. But his cold, his cool green eyes slide right over them, locking on me instead. How about you? 
my chest tightens. Every person gathered turns to stare at me. I was just told not to attract too much attention. Now I got everybody's attention. Um, yes, I'm gonna take the flowers. Oh God, he's so cute. <laughs> The green cloaks disperse at his command, returning to their tables and booths. <gasps> he looked at me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just his eyes turning from looking to the side to looking at me and my brain just short-circuited. <laughs> Titties. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in it for the tibbies. <laughs> I keep, keep staring. I can't not stare. He says it lightly with a, gen with a genuine air of curiosity. Stop staring at the titty. Stop staring at the titty. Stop staring at the tibby. <laughs> keep getting distracted. <laughs> Do I stick out that much? No, but I'm certain I'd remember seeing a face as lovely as yours around Lota. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be like this the whole time he's on the screen. <laughs> oh I'm so weak. <laughs> They're all very, very pretty. But I have to admit, I do feel a little thirsty after all that fried dough. Um, <clears throat> you know. I'm thirsty for drinks. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely thirsty for drinks. God, the way he's looking at me. <laughs> Sorry, I was so focused on the text bar, I looked up and... Whew, hello. <laughs> Can I just sit here and stare at his beautiful eyes? Just... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn that back on. Whew. He's, he's too pretty, I can't help myself. How about we continue this outside? How about we continue this upstairs? <laughs> It'd be better if his if his top had like a little tibby window, so you could just touch the tibbies. Just a little, just a little, a little tease window. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just like tweeting at them, like, excuse me, developers, can we have a boob window for Leander? <laughs> Unlockable outfit one. <laughs> In the settings menu, unlock sexy stop. <laughs> Who needs a, a sensor sensor toggle? We just need a sexy toggle. <laughs> Pick your level of spiciness. <laughs> Do you want mild, hot, or in fuego? <laughs> It's just no one is wearing clothes at all, ever. <laughs> oh my god, is he blushing? <laughs> you can tie me up first if it makes you feel better. <gasps> Listen! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop it! Stop! Oh my god. I don't, I, this is dangerous. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> oh my gosh. This time when I reach out to touch Leander's palm again, he catches my wrist before I can pull away. I told you, there's really nothing to worry about. Oh, <laughs> he's blushing again, he's so cute. He's so close. <laughs> my fingers long, de long deprived by years of bandaging, Pick up every single detail, the grooves of his palm, the smooth shell of his nails, the pulse of his heart. For as long as I've lived, I've never been able to hold someone's hand. <laughs> you can't hold hands! While Leander's pulse is steady, mine is hammering as fear gives way to excitement. I want to keep touching him! <laughs> I glance at Leander's face and his lips part as he considers his words before speaking. Am I the first person you've been able to touch like this? My hand goes still on his arm. So far? I'll admit your touch does make me somewhat difficult to stay level-headed, but not due to your power. <laughs> I'm so weak. 
Jake. I love him. Oh. <laughs> the bartender, who I now realize doubles as an innkeeper, slides a key onto the counter. You know I always keep the corner room open for you and your escapades. Oh, <laughs> Leander's laugh sounds slightly strained. And I always appreciate it, but you're mistaken. This is just for my friend T. Sure, sure. Stay as long as you like. You two have fun. <laughs> Escapades, huh? Who? Who is? Oh. Hello. Ooh la la. <laughs> Hi, uh, Mr. Monster. Uh, was that you? I wouldn't mind if you bit me. <laughs> Though, th it this did catch my eye. <gasps> my key! He took my key! With a flourish of- He picked my pocket! No matter the city, uh, parted pink curtains only ever mean one thing. I'm not looking to buy, and I doubt I could afford your services anyway. Luckily for you, I don't charge. What is with everybody wanting to give me free shit here? <laughs> Ask nicely, and I might even let you tug my tail. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Please! <laughs> oh, you don't want to give me that permission. You don't want to give me that permission. You don't- you don't want to. <laughs> Just throw it here! So flirt back. Alright, let's go. How do you know that I- uh, how do you know that I spent all my money, starved, and nearly died in a swamp just so I could crawl into bed with the first thirsty monster I saw? That earns me a burst of breathy laughter. He gazes at me under his dark lashes. Aren't you funny? Could you be any more obvious? I have been told subtlety is not my strength. So, your place or mine? <laughs> oh no! Oh! I wasn't prepared for this! He called my bluff! I'm gonna say I'd invite you if I had my key, cause then he gives me my key and I go, just kidding, and then I run away. <laughs> Come, take my hand and we'll go together. Oh God, what? The more he flirts, the more convinced I become that this is some kind of trap. No matter how innocent monsters look, they always have tricks up their sleeves. <sighs> oh, what do I do? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this so soon. And something tells me <laughs> that this one's more dangerous than he lets on, even if he has a lovely laugh. I don't know what you want or why you're messing with me, <laughs> but I will cry! <laughs> I'll cry, damn it! Don't, don't you tease me! I'll cry! <laughs> but I'm not coming any closer until I know you aren't going to attack or bite in public. Don't bite in public. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> oh, same as you, same, 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 same. Oh, I won't buy hard unless you beg me. Listen. <laughs> Listen, stop! Listen! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't! <laughs> oh, no matter what I say, he finds a way to twist my words into innuendo. This guy's gonna be the bane of my existence! <laughs> Even when I'm silent, he goes on as though we're having a conversation, not a standoff. Do you like dancing? There's a traveling trope performing in Hightown tonight. They're lust, uh, they're, they're lutist. God damn it, I, was, <laughs> I read lust. Stop. <laughs> they're lutist is utterly exquisite. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> St 
down and I stagger, my soles slipping on the steps. For a slick moment, I fear my bandages will unravel under his touch, but he's careful not to disturb them even as his fingers dig into my arm. I knew I smelled blood. You reek of death in the road. Oh, and that fucking doctor. Ah. Uh! His voice uh, his voice, once silken, lowers to a smoky growl. The shadows around him seethe and boil as he pulls me closer. And something else. He murmurs against my throat, nose grazing my jaw. Ooh! Word of advice? Don't take free advice from lazy foxes lounging in the streets. This crook would sell water to a drowning man for the sheer enjoyment of it. Oh, yikes. Hours later, legs aching, sweat beating on my forehead, I finally find what I was searching for. The Cenobium of the Luminous Void. That sounds like a cult. I step away from the gates, hopelessness washing over me. Hello. Oh. A whisper so close I can feel the warm brush of breath on my skin. I instinctively jerk away, but there's no one behind or no one beside me. Halfway down the staircase, I spot a woman swaying in the breeze. She's gaunt as a rail, her blouse moth-eaten. I am unable to take my eyes off her, not because of the way she smiles a little too widely or the way her tousled braids look unbrushed for days, but because her eyes shine a vibrant, unnatural crimson. I'm both entranced and unsettled by their subtle glow. After the experience I've just had, I'm not too keen on indulging strangers with small talk. Despite my silence, she maintains her unflinching stare and smile. Luckily for y uh, lucky for you, I have miracles for free. Nothing is for free! Everything costs something! Whatever she's selling, I'm not interested. My words come out in a tired breath. No thanks. If I've caught your interest, then follow me. It's only a short walk away. Without another glance, she leisurely strolls down the Cenobian stairs, loose braids bobbing behind her. The edge of her scar peeks out from under her collar. I stand there, wordless, until I manage to regain my bearings. It's a twisted miracle, but a miracle nonetheless. Oh, I don't, I don't want to go. This could be the stupidest decision of my life, but what, what choice do I have? I take a final look at the Cenobium's shut gates, then follow her down the steps. Oh no! No! <laughs> We're gonna get cut open like a, like a dissection frog in a third grade classroom. No! Why am I here? Go back! My gut lurches when I face the open horizon. I I squint against the empty wastelands. Only a fool or someone with nothing to lose would leave the city. Apparently, I'm both. But if this sea spring cured her, I need to see what it can do for me. I set off into the waste. Over my shoulder, the woman calls after me. Good luck, T. I hope we meet again. When did you- I didn't tell her my name. Yeah. Spooky! That voice again. At the sound of it, the soulless freeze, their snarls quieting. Hello? <gasps> I search for the voice source and find it above me, lounging in the rafters. <laughs> You look lost, little sparrow. Oh my. I can't focus. The soulless growls ringing in my ears. They're not advancing, but that could change any second. Panic rises in my throat as I struggle to track them. Hey! Huh? Eyes on me. Okay, eyes on you. 
click, click. <laughs> my stomach rolls as I tear my eyes away from the solace. Don't ignore someone who's talking to you. It's not polite. For a moment, anger knocks my fear aside. Who is this bastard? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> and then I die. <laughs> oh, it's very quiet. Okay. Uh... No, you know what? Fuck you! <laughs> I want to see what happens if I say fuck you! Are you getting off on this? Unwrap them. <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> He's a monster with an imposing figure that towers over me. I couldn't tell how tall he was before, but he's big. Illuminated by lantern light, his features are sh stronger, sharper. Oh, that's such good sound. Subtle clinks of metal accompany each of his footsteps. The closer he gets to me, the faster my heart hitches. What does he want? Is he going to kill me? I step backwards. And find nothing to set my foot on. I had forgotten my back was to the sea spring. I fall right into the warm hand. Oh, right right before a warm hand catches my lower back. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm hovering above the sea spring, a scent of smoke and leather enveloping me. Ooh, he smells like cigarettes and leather. You're ice, aren't you? Depends on who's asking. What is with all, I mean, no, I shouldn't ask what's with all of them being insanely attractive because this whole game is about them being insanely attractive. That and gothic horror. Um, I'm really excited to see the spooky bits. My frustration builds. I narrow my eyes at him in a questioning glare. When he notices, he returns with an amused, he returns it with an amused smirk. Are you being irritating on purpose? Listen, Sparrow, the sea spring can cure anything. Nothing stopping you from trying it yourself. What do I have to do? Drink. I have to drink from the sea spring? My eyes glide to the blood-like pool beside us. The idea of ingesting the strange liquid makes my guts churn. Is there, is there a price? Always. Ice taps his temple with a finger. You lose it a little bit. That's it? Might have already beat it to the punch. My humor earns me an amused, fanged grin. When you drink from the sea spring, you forget who you are. Your mind combines with everyone who ever drank before. Humans, monsters, soulless, one big happy family in your head. Ooh, yikes, hive mind. My blood runs cold. I've heard of these before group minds. I thought they were just rumors. I've heard whispers of cults performing rituals to bind their members' minds together. It never seemed possible. <laughs> so it's a group chat, only you can't mute it. <laughs> Ice approaches a nearby solace, a lanky dog-like one with six legs and a crown of tendrils. Several sets of crimson eyes adorn its sides. Its forked tail wags rapidly when ice squats beside it. He runs fingers through the tendrils, scratches its chin, and pats its head. A gentle smile plays across ice's lips. The affection he holds for the soulless is painfully clear. Yeah, it's a puppy! <laughs> I dip my eyes away, my stomach fluttering in the tender light. It's getting dark out, so this pretty girl will guide you back. Following a short whistle from Ice's lips, it trots over to the entrance obediently, tail swaying. Can I pet it? I want to pet it! As nervous as I am, I carefully glide my fingers through the Solus's tendrils and scratch beneath its chin, just like Ice did. Ice had. It pushes into my palm in response, rumbling with a sound akin to a purr. The vibrations are soothing, almost healing my fatigue. It's a cat! It's really here. It's come back for me. Oh my god, I just noticed the fucking things on its spine are fingers! Gross! They have little fingernails and everything! Run! <laughs> the soulless gives a rasping hiss. 
It's only warning I get before it lunges for me with a flash of claws. I hurl myself to the side, uh, but the slick cobblestone betrays me. I fall, sprawling over the rough stone. As the solace looms over me, I scramble away from, from it until my back hits the wall. There's nowhere left to go. It descends on me for the kill. But the impact never comes. <gasps> I warily crack one eye open, and then the other, not sure whether I should believe what I'm seeing. A hooded figure crouches in front of me, one bloodstained hand outstretched. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> so cute! I hold my hands up, trying to forestall any more snippy comments. Alright, I get it. I'd love to get out of your way, but I'm sort of lost. I just need directions back to my lodgings. What makes you think I'll help you? Nothing, but there's no harm in asking. That seems to catch them off guard. They're brown knits and they look away, scowling. How troublesome. Tea? <gasps> oh! B, you're just back in time for your boy! <laughs> Here we are. He moves towards the door and Mahin lets out an audible huff. Don't tell me you're going in. I have some quick business with Leander, and <laughs> so do I. <laughs> there he is. There's my boyfriend. <laughs> I love him. Leander is right where I left him, although he's traded places with the bartender. He holds a pair of shot glasses filled to the brim with luminous green liquid. And now for the finishing touch. A flash of magic pa uh, paints the glass with fro with uh, white with frost. You're never gonna guess what's in these. Leander slides the glasses across the bar, and I get my third and fourth shocks of the evening in rapid succession. <laughs> what? Ice leans against the bar, an elbow propped up on the counter. He catches the glass and lifts the. Uh, lifts one to the light before turning it upside down. The contents magically congealed to stay firmly in place. You're supposed to make drinks, pretty boy. Don't tell me you're wasted already. <laughs> Veer, perched on the bar's counter besides ice, takes a single look at the, s the shot glass and shakes his head. What have we here? A bucket full of boogers? Leander's nose treasure? <laughs> oh my god. You've eaten worse. Veer's lips twitch and he, his ears flatten when Ice offers him a glass. He turns his cheek with a sniff, uh, and Ice just snickers. Coward. Don't tell me you're actually. In one fluid motion, Ice throws back his head and downs the shot. Drinking that. A dark look crosses Ice's face. It's chewy. Is it a jello shot? <laughs> Chewy, wait, let me try again. Yeah, one big pretty family, and I will melt in the middle of all of these big hands and beefy babes. <laughs> oh, is it evening already? Could have sworn it was earlier. Oh my god, I love Leander so much. Oh no. Even with them all lined up, my eyes go straight to him first. Oh, he's just so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this real quick. I love seeing all of them here. <laughs> oh my gosh. At the first sign of an impending fight, Leander vaults clear over the counter. He slides in between Ice and Karas. Listen, yeah, look, he is gorgeous. Look at that face. Be drinking in! Give him a smooch! Actually, look at the emphasis on, on his tibbies. On Leander's tibbies. Look at those. Look at that. Uh, listen! Uh. 
Karas gestured in my direction and my stomach sinks. I reluctantly step into the light. As soon as he sees me, Leander's face brightens. T, it's been too long. Everyone, this is T. They're new to Iridia. And everyone's like, yeah, we know. <laughs> I feel five pairs of eyes fix onto me and suddenly the bar feels suffocatingly small. My voice nearly catches in my throat. Hi. Again. Ah, oh, this one. This one! The full picture! Oh, look at them! Look at everybody! Look at them all! I want to smooch all of them! The low, pleasant rumble of Leander's laughter pulls me from my restless thoughts. Ha! Well, color me surprised. You make friends fast, T. I wouldn't go that far. We're more like... Acquaintances? A wise man once said that acquaintances are merely friends you haven't shared a drink with yet. A wise man? You said that. Here. Last week. <laughs> Unbothered or uninterested in his, uh, in his company, Ice can't, uh, cants his head at me, a light smile on his lips. How about you, Sparrow? I did say I'd buy you a drink earlier. No, no, no. My treat. Ice regards uh, Leander over the lip of his glass, and in the dim light, the glint in his crimson eyes looks downright dangerous. What'll it be, T? I'll take that drink. You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll drink the pickle beer. Let's just fucking get it over with. As long as it makes me feel all buzzy and fuzzy inside. I'm, I'm gonna kiss his face. I really want to kiss his face. Aren't you the popular one, T? I'm guessing you met Karas first. It would be more accurate to say that I found them. He saved my life. I merely performed my duty as a doctor. Although I must admit that... Uh, although I must admit that I was confused why I woke up missing all my clothes. <laughs> the looks on their faces! <laughs> Leander makes a choked noise. Somewhere behind him, mean sighs. It's not what you think. Why are you so far away? Come join us. He pats the empty bar stool beside ice, but I hesitate. The smile Veer wears is sweet and distinctly sly, and with drinks in the mix, I dread how he and ice will mess with me next. We don't bite. I'm not sure about that. Just hours ago, he tried to rob me, and you threatened me. Me? Steal? Surely you must be mistaken. Hmm, are you sure it was me? Oh my god. It's a pleasure to formally meet you, T. He says my name slowly and deliberately, savoring the single individual syllable that it is. <laughs> a tingle jumps down my spine. I quickly turn my gaze away. I smirks at my reaction over the rim of his glass. Is something funny? Mm, nope. I stagger, shoulder checked by a man with a neck thicker than both my thighs. He stares down at me, nostrils flaring. Out of my way, shit stain. My world spills uh, my my words spill out on their own. You watch it. I regret them as soon as they leave my mouth. That's Fucking gin! The roughneck wheels around, shoving a bloodhound out of the way so he can close in on me. What did you say? He shoves me backwards, sending me stubble stumbling to the sticky floor. I'm fine, but my heart leaps into my throat when I see the roughneck bearing down on me. You trying to start something here? The roughneck freezes, uh, his fist cocked back. A group of bloodhounds called by the commotion uh, called by the commotion circle him sizing him up for what feels like an agony uh, an agoni agonizingly long moment the roughneck looks from me to the bloodhounds finally he sniffs and spits on the floor next to me the lob narrowly misses my cheek Blech. screw it too many freaks in this circus tonight he turns his back on me and comes face to face with ice 
A dangerous smile spreads across his face. You'll do. Uh, through the thinning crowd, I catch, I catch a glimpse of familiar faces. Ice vanishes out the back, dragging the rough neck behind him. <laughs> he protect! He protect! Kuras lingers near the door, searching, I suspect, for any wounded before he departs. Mihin draws their hood up tight as they slip out the side door. While Veer leans over the counter to swipe a glass of wine from behind the bar. And Leander, seated at the opposite end of the bar, gestures dramatically and apologetically at the bartender. In the space of a heartbeat, I realize there's no telling when or if I'll see any of them ever again. Whoever I pursue may be the last person I get to speak to tonight. I follow... I follow... I follow Leander! I love him. I'm gonna see him here, but I follow Leander. I love him so much. I'm so weak. He seems like a good person. Uh, though it's hard to believe anyone's a good person these days. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't know. B B doesn't seem all that interested, you guys. I don't I don't think he's their type. <laughs> Both <of> my eyes. <laughs> my brain too. <laughs> he may have stitched my arm back on, but he helped himself to my heart while he was at it. And I mean, I don't mind having him around. He can be fun, and he's got a real presence. What exactly does that mean? Leander shrugs and laughs under his breath. Has he slept with every single person? <laughs> Has he made advances or slept with at least every single other love interest in this game? Because that's the impression he's giving me. I fell for the playboy, guys. I fell for the playboy. <laughs> he's nice to look at, mouthy, but his tongue's the least dangerous part of him. That about covers it. Aren't you tired of standing? Let's find you somewhere to sit. <laughs> you mean like your lap? <clears throat> oh, I said that when it was very quiet. <laughs> Do you know what you're going to try next? I'm going to try touching you. That's what I want. I want to touch you. The question gives me pause. I take my hands out from under my cloak and rest them on the table. Do you think you can help me? Of course, we can find answers together. Leander starts to reach for me as though meaning to take my hand before stopping himself. His eyes flicker to mine. I won't fail you, T. And if you ever need a taste of normalcy, I'll always be here for you. <laughs> my chest tightens at the memory of touching him. <laughs> Even now? Leander swallows. The table groans under his elbow as he leans forward. <laughs> the booth is so narrow that he completely blocks my view of the bar counter. <laughs> it's almost as though Leander and I are completely alone. Listen, I have a room upstairs that you gave me if we want. There's a little, I mean... <laughs> yes, that's what I want. A lump forms in my throat. I'm certain Leander sees it in my face, a flicker of desperation. His voice lowers to a whisper. Anything you want, T. Oh god. <laughs> He's dangerous. He's so dangerous. <gasps> I'm, I'm just gonna, 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 I'm just gonna. When I rise, Leander gives me one last smile. Good night, T. Night. I trudge up the stairs, but even as I leave Leander behind, the warmth of his skin still lingers on mine, burning through the bandages. Let's go! Oh no! We're done! I knew it was gonna be the end! Oh my 
my gosh. Oh, touch starved indeed. I want more. I don't think I'm gonna play all of the routes on stream because that'll be no fun for anyone who wants to do more stuff, like to try it themselves. So like, please go download the demo, check out the Kickstarter, like. Oh, CG gallery, here we go, let me see. Uh, yes, this one. Oh, uh, I wanna say that I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to full screen it later, but there he is, there's my boy. We're gonna end it here on my boy. I end it here on him and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw a little little some some emotes here just to yes he's my boy it's me I love him I'm gonna kiss his face and more <laughs> uh, but all the oh my gosh I, I'm just gonna sit here and say it's so good on repeat I'm not even gonna comprehendingly form words to sentence and it it's good it's so good <laughs> uh well thank you all of you guys for for joining my impromptu stream for for this i really wanted to play the demo and i'm so glad i did this is so much fun but yes i will i will leave it here so we're gonna end for the night but yeah good night guys thank you again love you stay hydrated stay healthy